In this video, we're taking a look at the fall 2022 DC Comics catalog, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm getting. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, this is a channel about comic books. If you love comics, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, speaking of subscribers, we are very close to hitting 5,000 subscribers. When we do, I'm gonna be giving away this book. This is Ultimate Fallout number four, first appearance of Miles Morales. This is the second printing variant by Sarah Pacelli. You see how it glows? It's not just because I got a light shining. It's because it's just an angelic book. I'm joking. I'm joking. Custom Miles Morales label, uh, CGC 9.6. This book um, right now on the fair market is worth about 300 bucks, but it's only getting more expensive. I just saw a one in 25 of the first printing sold for $30,000 on whatnot. That's insane. That's a car. That's a significant portion of a house. Like, that's insane. But anyway, all you got to do to be eligible to win that is be subscribed to the channel. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and any other video where you see this giveaway promoted and leave a comment on that video as well. Uh, once we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video, do a YouTube comment generator. And if your name pops up, you're the lucky winner. Now, you're eligible no matter where you live, but I'm only covering shipping if you live in the United States. If you're international, you'll have to pay for the item to be shipped to you. So keep that in mind as you enter. Um, but anyway, today we're taking a look at the DC Comics catalog. Uh, DC just dropped their, um, I wouldn't call them solicitations, but they've dropped a bunch of books into the catalog for retailers to be able to preview, place their orders, kind of get a gauge for what they're gonna be putting into their stores uh, in the fall and winter of 2022. Um, there's even some books here listed for 2023. So we're going to take a look at them. I'm going to tell you which books I'm most excited for. There are a couple of reprints and a couple of books here that people have been waiting for for a very long time. If you just bought an out of print book, you might be upset. Don't blame me. I didn't do it. Uh, one thing I will say before we look at this list, these lists are subject to change. Like we've seen books drop in and out of the catalog all the time. So get excited but maybe don't get your hopes i don't i don't know just know they're subject to change some of these books may not see the light of day hopefully they all do but with that said let's go ahead and take a look at the catalog so this is edelweiss it is a um a website that retailers use typically from the traditional book market but comic book retailers can use it as well to and publishers place their stuff in here for retailers to see and decide whether or not they want to buy it so anyway I've got this sorted by the um, newest or, excuse me, oldest. So the books that are coming out first are showing up here first. And we're going to go, it's like they start in August 2022, all the way up through February of 2023. So we've got a lot of books to take a look at, uh, well over five months, I guess, right? Uh, starting with Batman Volume 6, Abyss. So they are still keeping uh, the Batman numbering ever since i think they renumbered the volumes when james tynan started so volume six is continuing from uh after fear state uh where joshua williamson took over the title uh so josh williamson george molina this is going to collect batman 118 to 121 and 124 which i believe 122 and 123 are going to be part of the shadow war story I feel like 124 wouldn't belong here, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, on the trade paperback front, that's a standard size hardcover, by the way. Cover price $25. Um, I don't know. That book shouldn't have showed up there. But anyway, uh, Earth One, Batman Earth One, a complete collection. So we're getting a trade paperback that collects Earth One Volume 1, 2, and 3. Uh, this is coming out so far scheduled for August 2nd. Um, so we're getting that. Black Manta, new miniseries by Chuck Brown from Bitter Root. Uh, that's coming out August 2nd. And we're not going to look at every single book. I really want to show you the books that I'm just most excited for. Um, by the way, that Fables 20th anniversary box set is showing up here. I feel like it's been solicited for a minute. But if you did not get Fables, like I didn't get Fables, and you missed out on all the trades, now they're releasing all of all four of the trade paperback compendiums 
um, in one easy to grab box set. So retail price is $240 if you're in that in the United States. So you're definitely going to want to grab that um, at the retailer of your choice. Um, by the way, I always shop at organic price books and I should absolutely shout them out because that's where I'm getting all of these books when they come out. You can use the link in the description below and save some money on any book that you decide to pre-order here. Uh, Icon and Rocket Season 1. This is what I'm excited about. This is a hardcover written by Reggie Hudlin. Uh, you guys know, I've, I've told you all the time uh, that I'm reading everything Milestone. Uh, this was my least favorite Milestone Returns series. But with that said, it was still really good. It just wrapped up. Issue 6 came out. Not last week, the week before, I believe, uh, at the time of this recording. But a great story, a great reintroduction to Icon and Rocket. Um, so definitely grab that if you didn't see it before. The art by Doug Braithwaite is absolutely the main selling point for me. Uh, Superman vs. Lobo, that the Black Label series, getting a hardcover August 2nd. That's nice. Um, Batman vs. Robin, Road to War. What is this collecting? I think this would be like stuff from even before Infinite Frontier. Yeah. Batman 106, Teen Titans 43 to 44, Detective Comics 1032 to 1034, Teen Titans Annual 2, Stories from the Robin 80th Anniversary Special. Yeah, that's interesting. This is um, this is an older story. I wonder why it's being collected now. But anyway, uh, trade paperback, $16.99. Maybe, oh, that's probably why. It probably was a hardcover first. All right, here's the first omnibus we're getting into. Batman, No Man's Land, Volume 2. So we had The Road to No Man's Land. We had uh, No Man's Land, Volume 1. This is No Man's Land, Volume 2. You know DC never, like, or they always do these bait-and-switch covers. So something tells me this isn't going to be the cover. But I hope it is, because I love this image by Bill Sienkiewicz. Um, but I don't want to get too married to it, because DC loves switching their covers. It happens Almost every omnibus they do. Um, Deathstroke Inc. is getting a uh, hardcover, volume one. Commandy by Jack Kirby is getting a trade paperback. I've never read this series. I know Omar has the omnibus, and he did an overview that I watched a while back. Uh, Wonder Woman Black and Gold, $40 hardcover. Uh, this is going to be collecting Wonder Woman Black and Gold 1 through 6. Uh, the Black and Gold, this is that series, kind of like Batman Black and White or Superman Red and Blue, where it's pretty much a black and white comic, except one color gets highlighted. So gold is the color that gets the spotlight in this series. I might pick that up because I didn't pick it up in single issues, and it looks interesting. Another book I'm definitely grabbing um, in single or in the hardcover is going to be Robin and Batman. This is written by Jeff Lemire art by Dustin Wynn. I got the first two issues, I think. I don't remember getting issue number three. I didn't read them because there's a lot of Batman on my pull list already. This is one of those hardcovers. It just looks beautiful. And I heard the story was great, an early Dick Grayson tale. So that's cool. Uh, Multiversity. Multiversity. Uh, Grant Morrison's Multiversity is getting an absolute edition. Uh, $99.99 retail price. Uh, Grant Morrison, Ivan Reyes. I've got the deluxe edition multiversity. I need to take a look at that before I decide if I'm going to get an absolute. I typically stay away from the absolute format because they're just, they, they require so much space and I just don't have enough shelf space for them. Uh, the last guide book. One of the Fellspire Chronicles is getting a trade paperback. Looks like it's got a lot of content, 448 pages, 39.99 cover price. Uh, Swamp Thing volume two is getting a trade paperback. So this would collect issues six through 10, and they just extended it to be a 16 issue series, if I'm not mistaken, collects five through 10. I think that's wrong because I'm pretty sure the first trade was one through five. But anyway, all right, a couple of books I'm not getting. Here we go. Hardcover for I Am Batman, volume one. Love this cover by Olivier Coipel. Um, I Am Bat Batman, written by John Ridley. I almost said Jonathan. Uh, written by John Ridley, art by... There's a lot of artists in this. So Olivier Coipel does the first issue. We got Steven Segovia on some of the art. Um, there's one other person in the middle of this. I want to say throughout like the first five issues, we had just like a bunch of artists. Issue six was done by Ken Lashley. And then I'm not sure who does it from issue seven on, but this is going to collect issues one through six. Oh, actually, no, it's collecting issues zero through five. 
I feel like issue six should be collected as well, but hey, whatever. I'm sure these contents are subject to change as well. Uh, but if you're not following this, this is the, the saga of Tim Fox, AKA Jace Fox, who you may recognize from Future State. He was like the first black Batman. Uh, they made a big uh, to do about it. And he got a bunch of series. He had the next Batman, then the next Batman Second Son, and that all kind of dovetails into this, I Am Batman, which is an ongoing series. Um, and it's actually really good. This series is where the Tim Fox saga gets good. So if you jumped off earlier in the train, definitely jump back in for this one. Comes out August 23rd. And here's one I'm excited about. The Animal Man Omnibus. Now, I was told that Animal Man is one of Grant Morrison's like best works. Like you should, if you don't read any Grant Morrison, read this one. This will help you understand. And, th and this is like just one of those seminal works. Uh, and fun fact, the very first hardcover I ever unboxed on this channel was the Animal Man 30th Anniversary Book One. Um, there's two volumes of that. And I got that because this omnibus was out of print and people wanted ridiculous prices for it. Uh, still one of the most sought after DC Omni. So the fact that they're reprinting this omnibus is awesome. That's due out August 23rd as well. Um, let's see some other stuff I'm not grabbing. Uh, the brightest day omnibus. They don't have a cover for it. <laughs> so that's coming out August 30th. Um, action comics. All right, let's, let's skip around here. I can't look at every book. Uh, wonder girl homecoming. This is wonder girl volume one by Joel Jones. I read issue one of this, this series was like plagued by delays. And I feel like they finally canceled it at like, is yeah, issue seven of Wonder Girl, but I heard it was really good. It's written and drawn by Joelle Jones. Mostly there were a couple of fill-in artists because I don't know, I guess she was having issues with deadlines or what, I don't want to speculate. Um, but the art in that first issue made me want like Joelle Jones drawing everything at DC Comics. So I'm definitely gonna be checking this out uh, on sale August 30th, cover price of $39.99. Here's a book that I'm probably gonna buy like 18 times over, right? Uh, this is Batman Hush. Batman Hush was the first Batman story I ever read. I bought it in a trade paperback way back when I first got in comics in 2019. Um, I eventually upgraded to the 15th anniversary deluxe edition. And now here we are, there's a 20th anniversary deluxe edition. So that's gonna collect Batman, uh, what would that be? 608 to 619 and a story from wizard number zero. Great story. Jim Lee artwork. What else is there to say? All right. Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes, book one, September 6th. What's that going to collect? Blue Beetle issues one through 12. That's his first ongoing series. I'm pretty sure this is an older series. I don't think this is coming out right now. So that'd be interesting. I haven't read any Jaime Reyes, Blue Beetle, or any Blue Beetle for that matter. Nubia and the Amazons, a series that just recently wrapped by Vita Ayala. So they're doing a hardcover for that September 6th. Let's keep it moving. All right, this is interesting. So there's no cover art loaded here, but they're doing a uh, hardcover collecting punchline. So they're collecting her origin, which is in the Joker 8th anniversary special, uh, punchline number one, which is a one shot. And then they're collecting the punchline backups from the Joker. Uh, issues one through 14 and a story from urban legends number 950 which i didn't read batman urban legends so that's a lot of content 208 pages 30 dollars for this hardcover if you're a punchline fan like i am then you got to grab that uh who's who the who's who omnibus volume two is back in the catalog they had this solicited for like earlier in the year they took it out printer delays all sorts of stuff but now it's back uh so this is going to collect the Who's Who 1 through 16, Who's Who in the Legion of Superheroes, and the Who's Who 1993 update, issues 1 and 2. Uh, so that's interesting. That's interesting. The 1990s version of Who's Who. Cool. I'll definitely grab that because I actually have a series called Who's Who where I'm supposed to be breaking down characters, and I actually use these books as reference when I do it. Absolute Doomsday Clock back in the catalog. Uh, so that's what's up. I think we're getting... Wait, this was, our, this was already here. I don't remember them taking it out. So anyway, no need to talk about this more. Uh, let's see. Anything I'm grabbing? All right. New Teen Titans, Volume 1. George Perez, 
Marv Wolfman. I'm buying anything with George Perez's name on it. I'm hoping he gets these royalties. I hope he lives long enough to see more fruits of his labor. So whenever I see the name George Perez, I'm like, yep, must buy. Um, but also, this is classic material. So retail price of $100 scheduled out on September 13th. Let's hope there aren't a ton of delays. Uh, the Human Target, book one. $30 hardcover. Let's see. It's going to collect human target one through six. The first half. I'm not buying the first half of a Tom King series. I'll wait till it wraps and they do a complete collection. Why would I need? Well, I don't want two hardcovers for that story. That'd be that's more expensive than buying the single issues. I think $12. Yeah, that you'd be paying $5 an issue. You could get it cheaper at your LCS just buying single issues. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, the War for Earth 3, which is an event that I did not know was happening at all. That's getting a trade paperback. Um, it's actually going on right now. Teen Titans, Flash, and Suicide Squad all have uh, War for Earth 3 tie-ins. But again, I didn't even know it existed. Uh, let's see. Batman, One Dark Night by Jock. I'm definitely grabbing this one. Um, I grabbed issue one. I liked it well enough, but not well enough to buy... Uh, these oversized issues. I just kind of got, I'm kind of over Batman minis because there's like a new Batman mini series every week. So I'd rather just wait till they're collected and pick them up. So this $30 hardcover should be well worth it. It's oversized. It'll be that black label prestige size hardcover like Harleen was. Uh, so I'm excited about that. All right. Mm, I'm skipping around, skipping around. Dark Knights of Steel. Volume one hardcover again, collecting the first six issues when in a 12 issue maxi series. I'd rather have the whole maxi series, but if you're not reading Dark Knights of Steel, you need to be reading Dark Knights of Steel. And if you can't get it in single issues, absolutely, absolutely buy this hardcover because the story is amazing. I'm reading it as an ongoing, it's great. Uh, Harley Quinn, the Gotham City Sirens Omnibus. I don't know if I'm going to grab this, but it's got uh, writing from Paul Dini, which makes me want to grab it. Um, I'll probably check some of this out digitally first. All right. Um, there is a lot. There is, are a lot of books in this catalog. Uh, so next book that I'm definitely grabbing out September 27th is Batman Curse of the White Knight, the deluxe edition. So we, there is a standard hardcover for this. And I believe there's a trade paperback for this as well. Uh, this series was going on when I first got into comic books and I didn't read it because I hadn't read the original White Knight. Still haven't. Uh, right now, as we speak, Batman Beyond the White Knight is out. I read this first issue and it made me want to read all the White Knight stuff. So I'm definitely grabbing this deluxe edition and I'm just going to do a big White Knight binge read fest. But September 27th, uh, which is actually my niece's birthday. And Little Wayne's. <laughs> uh, I'll be getting Curse of the White Knight. All right, next page. Still in September 27th. I'm not going to grab this Black Adam. Uh, let's see. DC versus Vampires. That's notable. Volume one. So again, they're splitting up all these mini series or maxi series into volume one and volume two hardcovers. And it doesn't seem like the way to go to me, but I don't run DC collected editions. Uh, interesting reprint of note, American Vampire, uh, Omnibus Volume 1 by Scott Snyder. Uh, they did solicit a Volume 2 of American Vampire. Uh, this one has been long out of print. It's been um, highly requested, highly sought after for a minute. So if you're into this, if you're into like horror type stuff, uh, this is one of the books that kind of made Scott Snyder a household name before Batman. So definitely check it out. All right. If you're reading the Batman, uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale Chronicles in these new deluxe edition hardcovers, the Long Halloween, uh, I don't know why they're calling the whole Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale run the Long Halloween. Just capitalizing on that name recognition, I guess. But anyway, Haunted Night. Haunted Night is getting a deluxe edition. So we've got the Long Halloween. We've got uh, Catwoman when in Rome. We've got in, is it Dark? Dark City? Am I tripping? And then the Haunted Night. That should be all of them. Um, yeah, that's all of them. Why not just reprint the Loeb and Sale Omnibus? I think you could still get that pretty easily a bunch of places. But anyway, $49.99 retail price if you're into that. Uh, we're getting a movie tie-in box set for the Black Adam movie starring The Rock. Uh, so 
if you've never read Black Adam, this will be a good place to start. It looks like it's going to collect Black Adam, the JSA, Black Reign, Black Adam, Rise and Fall of an Empire, and the Shazam trade paperbacks uh, all in one fun box set. So grab that if you haven't. All right. 60 books in. We're finally at another one that I'm actually excited about. This is Hardware Season 1. I don't think this is the cover they're going to go with. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a new cover. Uh, but this is a book by Dennis Cowan. Uh, well, it's written by Brandon Thomas, uh, who you may know from Excellence, a great writer, uh, and Dennis Cowan, friend of the channel and a great penciler. But he's inked by Bill Sienkiewicz on this. That combo is unmatched. Like, there's, you're not going to get a better penciler inker combo than Dennis Cowan and Bill Sienkiewicz. And if you haven't seen the artwork in this book, you need to grab this hardcover. I wish it was oversized. This is the type of book that deserves an oversized hardcover treatment but this is going to be standard size retail price 29.99 and it's due out october 4th um at the time of this recording the series has not wrapped up yet but it'll collect hardware season one issues one through six and the story from the milestone returns infinite edition so this is a great jumping in point for the character uh basically all of his modern material um let's see rogues by joshua williamson that first issue just came out a couple weeks ago so uh i don't know how good the story is i've heard the first issue is great it's going to be a four issue miniseries dc black label 30 dollars hardcover grab that october 4th uh trial of the amazon's getting a, a hardcover it's only two issues plus the tie-ins so and they didn't even write out what it's collecting but if i'm not mistaken you're going to get trial of the amazons issues one and two you're going to get wonder girl Oh, wait, Trial of the Amazon's Wonder Girl, and then the last issue of Nubia. I don't remember. Uh, if you're into Wonder Woman, definitely check that out, though. And all right, American Vampire Volume 2, Scott Snyder, Raphael Albuquerque. Uh, this is going to be collecting tales from the Anth American Vampire Anthology Collections. And American, American Vampire 28 through 34. The Long Road to Hell, number one, Anthology, one and two, Second Cycle, one through 11, and American Vampire, 1976, one through 10, which I believe just came out last year. So if you're an American Vampire fan, again, you're getting volume two, October 11th. You're getting volume one, uh, I think, in September. So you can jump into all those then. All right. I'm skipping over a lot of stuff because there's a lot of stuff in this catalog. Um, so I'll leave the link in the description where you can check it out for yourself. Um, but let me go jump to a book that I'm actually excited to read. Okay, in case you didn't want to get the Omnibus, you can get American Vampire 1976, that whole miniseries uh, in a trade paperback October 25th. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. All right. Again, every time I see George Perez, I'm buying it. Um, Wonder Woman by George Perez is getting a reprint October 25th. There's no cover solicited here. Obviously, the book's not coming out without a cover. So retail price, $100. Uh, let's see. All right, there we go. The Batman Shadow War is getting a book. Uh, issues 122 to 123 of Batman. Robin, 13 to 14. Deathstroke, Inc., 8 through 9. Shadow War Alpha, number one. Shadow War Omega, number one. And Shadow War Zone, number one. So this is the Batman uh, ongoing that literally just started this week as I record this. I just picked up the shadow war alpha. Uh, so it's, it's an event uh, that crosses over Robin and Deathstroke, stroke uh, written by Joshua Williamson. I think it's going to have some implications considering dark crisis is coming up and Josh Williamson's writing that too. So I don't know. We'll see, but Josh Williamson writing Howard Porter on art. That's uh, that's dope. Here's one that a lot of my friends are excited for that. I've never read. This is the flash by Mark Wade omnibus volume one. Uh, long awaited from what I've heard due out on November 1st with a cover price of $150. I'll have to check some of that out digitally as well before I decide if I'm going to grab it. Uh, Absolute Swamp Thing by Len Wein and Bernie Wrightson. Uh, so it's like original Swamp Thing. Yeah. House of Secrets number 92 and Swamp Thing numbers one through 13. So before Alan Moore came in, like completely revolutionized the character, but I've heard this early Swamp Thing is just great horror comics. So you could definitely check that out. Batman Black and White getting a box set. Interesting. 
I'm wondering which Batman Black and White is collecting. Okay, so it's from all the Gotham Knight. Okay, so this collects all five volumes of Black and of Batman Black and White. So if you didn't get the Batman Black and White Omnibus, which is now out of print, if I'm not mistaken, that was only four volumes of Batman Black and White. They just did a more a modern Batman Black and White very recently. And I think that's what we're calling volume five. Uh, so this box set might be worth checking out. Retail price of $105 because that $5 was just that important. And uh, it's on sale November 8th. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Here's a notable reprint. Uh, the Dick Grayson or Grayson, the super spy is getting a omnibus reprint written by Tom King and Tim Seeley art by uh, Mikhail Hanin. So that's exciting. I haven't read it. I've heard it's really good though. Um, and some of Tom King's like better writing. This was before he got on Batman and, you know, people have their thoughts on Tom King's Batman. I haven't read enough to be disappointed by it yet. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the Sandman Books of Magic Omnibus Volume 3 is coming out. I don't read Sandman, but that sounds like something people would be interested in. Catwoman Lonely City by Cliff Chang. This Black Label series people are all up in arms about. People love it is what I mean by that. Um, I haven't read it. I don't know that I will grab this hardcover because where are all these books going to go exactly? <laughs> Flashpoint Beyond, written by Jeff Johns, uh, returning back to the whole Flashpoint saga. So, I mean, there's a lot of writers. Jeremy Adams, Eduardo Riso. There's, okay. Okay, Eduardo Riso is an artist, by the way. Uh, <laughs> art by Germ Germanico. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, at, at the time of this recording, the the single issues aren't even out yet. So I'll grab issue one and see if, if it's worth it from there. Other issue of the DC Universe, getting a trade paperback. If you missed out on that hardcover, this is a great series. One of the first series I reviewed on this channel. Uh, really good stuff. So grab that. It's written by John Ridley as well. Um, Aquaman, written by Brandon Thomas art, uh, and Chuck Brown, illustrated by Sammy Basri. So... I've not been reading this. This just started as well. Aquaman just started. I think issue two is out right now. So anyway, is there anything else that I'm definitely grabbing in this catalog? We're, we're in December now. Uh, the Death of Superman 30th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. In case you don't buy the Death and Return of Superman Omnibus next month, why would you not? But if you're someone who doesn't like the huge omnibus format, get the essential. Get Superman 75 or 73 through 75, Adventures of Superman 496 to 498, Man is Still 17 and 19, and News Time, The Life and Death of Superman. Oh, my bad. And Action Comics 683 through 684. So you're definitely getting like the Doomsday Saga and Death of Superman, just not quite getting the return and the reign of the Superman if, uh, if I'm remembering the contents correctly. Uh, let's see. Last page. All right. What else am I excited about? I've heard good things about the sleeper. I mean, it's Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. It's not criminal. It's DC, but I think it's, this was a vertigo title back in the day. Uh, but that's getting an omnibus reprint. Uh, Tom King, Batman, Catwoman, a full on hardcover. We're not getting volume one and then volume two. This is Tom King and clay man with a few fill in issues by Liam Sharp. Um, that that I'm excited about. I've I've been enjoying the series. I kind of jump in and out. It's one of those timeline jumping stories that's just best read all at once. But I've been collecting it because the Clayman covers are just awesome. They're great. Uh, speaking of Tom King and Batman, coming out the same day, December 13th, is the Batman Killing Time hardcover. Uh, notably, this has a $30 retail price or cover price. Batman Catwoman has a $40 cover price. I believe, well, for one, Batman Catwoman is a, a longer series. It's 12 issues. And Killing Time, I believe, is only running six issues. Yeah, 208 pages. But I believe Cat Batman Catwoman is going to be oversized. I really hope it's oversized. That would suck if it wasn't oversized. It's a black label book. Oversize me, please. <laughs> uh, Tom Taylor's Nightwing Volume 1, uh, getting a trade paperback. Great series. So if you didn't buy the hardcover, you definitely need that trade. 
Superman Birthright is getting a deluxe hardcover. I have a hardcover of Superman Birthright, but it's standard size. Uh, this has the distinction of being the first Superman book I ever read and liked. So great story by Mark Wade, a nice origin, which I believe has been replaced by the New 52 origin. But this was the origin for a long time. Um, and a good story, a good story. Let's see. Is there anything else in this catalog that I'm excited about? Uh, okay, here's one. The DC poster portfolio for Brian Bolland. Uh, Brian Bolland is, just has had so much tremendous art at DC. I'd be curious to see what it collects, like which posters or which covers get the poster treatment. Uh, but I might definitely buy that. <laughs> might definitely. It's It's something that I'd be looking into. All right. Let's see. All right, here's something interesting. The Batman Dark Knights, or excuse me, it's not Batman. It's just Dark Knights Metal Omnibus. Uh, so this is the Tom Taylor, or Tom Taylor. This is Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo's seminal event. Um, and this is going to collect Dark Knights Metal, which was the series that brought the Dark Multiverse into the DC Universe. Um, oh, that's whack. It doesn't say what it collects yet. I'm hoping that it collects the whole miniseries and all the tie-ins. There were a lot of tie-ins for Dark Knight's metal. Uh, this also brought us the Batman Who Laughs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, there's that. And here we are. We're at a book. We're in January 2023. So you got a lot of time to prepare for this. Eight months to prepare for this. The Batman and Robin by Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason Omnibus is getting a reprint. Do not pay those ridiculous out-of-print prices. Don't jump on eBay and pay $300 for this book. Um, just don't do it because it's getting a reprint in January, January 17th, if it doesn't get pushed back. That's exciting. That's very exciting. Um, it's one of the books that I've like been most wanted. It's my one of my most wanted Omnis. So I'm excited that's getting a reprint. And it's only right. It's only right that we end this uh, before we do. Uh, Monkey Prince, a series I'm enjoying. It's only two issues out so far, but if it continues the way it started, this is a must-buy. Uh, Jean Len Yang, art by Bernard Chang. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, now let's end it with this one. Due out January 31st of 2023, the Milestone Compendium Volume 2. I had the pleasure of reporting on this for comicsardope.com. Uh, so this is going to collect basically the second year of publishing for Milestone, which um, we get a great boost in July of 1994, June, July, with the Worlds Collide crossover. So anyway, this collects uh, Blood Syndicate 13 through 23, Hardware 13 through 21, Icon 11 through 21, Static 9 through 20, Shadow Cabinet 1 through 4, and then... Um, Again, the, this book crossed over with a bunch of uh, DC titles, a bunch of the Superman family in an event called Worlds Collide. So we're getting the Worlds Collide issue number one, uh, Superboy six through seven, Steel six through seven, and Superman the Man of Steel 35 and 36. Uh, so that's exciting. That's very exciting. Someone asked me if we're getting a Milestone Compendium 2 and if the Worlds Collide would be included. And I said, I don't know if Worlds Collide would be included. I feel like they would definitely include the Milestone issues, maybe not the DC issues, but you don't have to worry about it. The Superman crossover issues are included in this Milestone Compendium Volume 2, collecting, like I said, basically the second year of Milestone's publication. So that's really exciting, really exciting. One of the things I'm most excited for off this whole list, if not the most exciting thing. Man, I'm not going to shut up about this book until January 2023. So there's that. There's that. And that's pretty much the catalog. So overall, a lot to be excited about. I mean, I spent almost 40 minutes telling you what I was excited about for the upcoming DC Comics catalog. I'm very excited that DC Comics Collected Editions seems to be seems to have an ear to the streets nowadays uh, because for a while it seemed like they just weren't printing anything. Marvel puts out so much more material than DC, but I'm excited that we're getting the reprints that people have been wanting for a long time. I'd like to see more current material get the omnibus treatment, but hey, 
I guess they got to do the hardcover route first, the trade paperback route first, and maybe only the top selling stuff will get an omnibus. I get it, man. You got to be profitable. So, but yeah, that's what I'm excited about. What on this list are you excited for? By the way, if you stuck around this long in the video, you made it all the way to the end. Uh, let's see. Put Dr. Pepper in the comments. Just just type Dr. Pepper in the comment. The first one who does will get something special from me. So there you go. Uh, that's my thanks to you for sticking around through this incredibly long video. Hope you saw something you liked in this one. And if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.